than 100,000 young people in Texas facing an uncertain future this Christmas. This is the last Christmas until the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, known as DACA, expires. It gives children brought to America illegally temporary legal status. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen shows us their fear. Yeah, I have some pictures. The first year after graduation was a hard one for Maria Ramirez. She'll go outside of Austin to celebrate Christmas with her family. Her parents brought her here illegally from Mexico when she was five years old. I know that they sacrificed a lot to make sure that I attended here, to make sure that I was even alive. Her parents are not citizens. Her daughter is. Right now, Maria is protected under DACA. But she worries without it, she won't be able to continue her path to law school and immigration officials could deport her away from the rest of her family. I love them so much and I, like, I admire them because I know there's very few people that can do what they do. And that's just, you know, without papers, without any protection, just continue living their lives to make sure that, you know, their family is okay. Democrats in D.C. pushed for a fix, but were delayed until next year. The time for discussion is coming to an end. The time for decision is now. Republicans say they're on board with it. We don't hold children responsible for the acts of, of their parents. Uh, that children who are brought here uh, at a very young age through no fault of their own, uh, we're not going to punish them. But Maria and thousands of other families fear and wait for their fates to be decided in 2018. Phil Prazen. KXAN News. And looking back at how we got here, the DACA program was originally started by an executive order issued by President Obama in 2012. In September, President Trump ordered to end the program. He called it an amnesty first approach. He gave Congress six months to pass a replacement. That deadline is March 5th.